Midfield there. Stevens playing it. Oh, he's going to have a wee run on his own. Runs into Kay Whiting and put down on the ground there, waiting for it to come back. Now it comes back. Picked up there by Craig Moore. He's about four or five metres short of the goal line here. Full of hard on attack. Moore plays at halfback. Gives it out to Ratu. Stops. Come back to the other way there. Right under the goal post. And Buller free this ball up. Yes, they can. Nobody on the loop playing at halfback. Ali goes through. Ball taken high around the head there. The referee still playing advantage as he Buller really throwing it at the line there, picked up there by Vi, he has a crack at the line, he's about a metre short there, uh, the Buller players trying to free it up, Nelson Lane all over it here, and again the referee uh, goes in and penalises the Nelson player, and I uh, might even see a card here, that was very cynical, and is it, uh, might even be the captain, Ben Coman, and has the referee gone to his pocket? No, he has a word to Coman there, but uh, the penalty to a Buller, and it is uh, five metres out from the Nelson line, and the Buller will have a shot at goal there. 23 minutes gone on the clock. But that was Buller's best attacking period of a play there. But uh, Ben Coman, I think, very lucky to stay on the field there. He was absolutely lying in it, taking all the punishment the Buller forwards were uh, dishing out there. They were rucking furiously for the ball. Coman just wrapped himself around it. And uh, the referee, Mr Woodhouse, said a quiet word in his ear there. Uh, but the upshot is that Stevens has brought the ball back to just outside the 22 metre mark. It is midway between the corner flag and the goal posts. And 23 minutes gone on the clock. Nelson leading by eight points to six. And Stevens will have this shot at goal. Oh, Buller certainly uh, threw it at the Nelson base defence there. They had them absolutely scrambling. Craig Moore was in there a couple of times. Aratu was in there. And uh, Blair McElroy uh, and uh, Logan Mundy both in there having a crack at the line as Stevens. Can he put Electra Services Buller in front? Starts to come in. There goes the kick. And the crowd in the grandstand love it. So uh, with his third penalty of the afternoon after 24 minutes of a play, it is Electra Services Buller 9 and Nelson Bays 8. Back to the halfway mark we come. Bullets look like they're slowly getting into their game at the moment. They've had the best of the uh, last 10 minutes of play as Pittman kicks off. Again, Ratu calling for it. And uh, he's going again going to have a little run forward, but uh, he certainly gets taken down. Lays it back there for Stevens. Stevens gives it back there behind him to Ali. Ali puts his boot to it too deep into uh, Nelson Bay's territory. Matthews, the left winger waiting back, gives it up to the fullback, Trayton. Runs in midfield and puts his boot deep down again into Bullet territory. This time it's Stevens waiting back here, the halfback. And uh, he lines up deep inside Nelson Bay's territory, puts his boot to it, and again Matthews has gone back there to just down his 22 metre mark. They're going to run the cross field. Whiting's got it, gives it up to Pittman. He puts his boot again down to Buller territory. Ravuja, the fullback for Buller, waiting just on the uh, 22 metre mark. Comes up to the 10 metre mark, puts his left boot to it there, puts it up high. Waiting back there is Whiting. Ravuja all goes up. Does he take a uh, loss at forward? Is Whiting. Um, and uh, Buller there can't tidy it up. But the ball was knocked forward there by Whiting as he's challenged in the air there by Rabudra. And so the scrum will go down right in front of our broadcasting box here. About uh, 12, 13 metres into the broadcast box. And they are 13, 14 metres inside Nelson Bay's territory. Well, a little bit of kick and a chase there. And in the end, uh, Andrew Stevens, the Victor Services puller halfback. He will put the ball into the scrum. Buller 9, they lead a Nelson Bays 8. The scrum going down. Bullard certainly love to uh, have a little bit of a, a go from here, I would think. Sakwakwa, the left winger, has snuck up into the back line. Ratu's got it, picked it up off the back. He's trying to go for a bit of a run, but he gets it out now to Sakwakwa. He uh, tries to come back in towards the fourth. Oh, he gets through too. Four or five parties before he finally gets thrown to the ground there. Over the top go the uh, bullet forwards. Up now to Navin of Alou. He tries to crash through the uh, prop forward Latin there for Nelson, but he can't get through him. Ali's got it this time. Gives it out there to Leila Vava. Leila Vava, a long pass there to uh, Navin. Just behind him, had to stop and uh, go again. He runs into his opposite on the far side there. In fact, with Kenny Eggers, the centre. But it comes along the bullet back line. Warwick Knox has got it there. The hooker's out in the back. Runs straight into the peak prop forward to Pua for Nelson. But they go to the right now, Buller. And uh, this time it's uh, the fullback Ravudra up into the back line. Here's the pass here from Ali over the top. Nelson Bays. 
waiting for him to come back. Stevens has still got a bullet. Uh, it's trying to cut through the uh, inside part channel there is Navin of Blue. Lays it back nicely for Stevens. They go to the right this time. Ali has a wee bit of a run up to Ravudra over the 22 metre mark. Nelson defence very, very solid there. So holding him up in the ground, fighting to get to the ground there, Ravudra. The bullet forward's trying to push him forward. Nelson Bay is holding him up. They're creating the more situation. Uh, can it come back? No, it won't. Nelson Bay looks yeah. like that. Oh, has it? And the referee's blowing the whistle. Uh, Nelson Bay is holding the Ravudra up there. He couldn't get the ball to the ground. And uh, Nelson Bay, there was some solid defence. Uh, 27 minutes gone here in the first half at Victoria Square. And of course, this game this afternoon being brought to you by the Westport Motor Hotel, where they have that scrumptious three course at dinner. And uh, it's available Saturday and Sunday nights, only $25 per head. And they would certainly love you to give them a call. Uh, treat yourself out tonight after the game, the Westport Motor Hotel. It will be Cave Whiting, the halfback for Nelson Bay. Midway, goal line and 22. Nelson Bay trying to put up the solid scrum here. And looks like uh, Warwick Knox, the bullet hooker, may have come off. He did get a shoulder injury earlier. And uh, we've got uh, Ginger there as they put it in. Nelson Bay to holding. Off the back comes Russ. Comes across field there and uh, runs into the uh, tackle there of uh, Ratu. Trying to free it up there, Buller. Oh, gee, he hadn't let it go. And I'll come here after Buller's name in a blue. Flips it up there to Ratu, is it? And he has scored the ball number eight. Well, good uh, play there, Pene Navanavalu, and also the uh, number eight, uh, Ratu, there uh, with the try. Gee, uh, Nelson looked like they had that under control. Russ and number eight, after 28 minutes of play, it was uh, Russ who came off the back with the uh, ball, uh, ripped away from Navanavalu. He just ripped it out of his hands, um, uh, made three or four paces towards the uh, goal line, and uh, flipped it back in to Ratu on his shoulder. And uh, Buller have scored uh, midway between the goalposts and the uh, corner flag. And they are now out to uh, 14 points to 8 with a conversion to come. Well, uh, after a bit of a shaky start, uh, the first quarter of an hour there was all Nelson Bays. But then uh, Buller since then have come back. They have uh, managed to get their hands on a bit of ball. And they have certainly uh, taken it to Nelson Bays. And uh, that was uh, just some really uh, top tackling there uh, by Navin Balu, who really ripped it out of the hands there of the number eight, Russ. And uh, Ratu there finishing it off. Stevens, he's got the ball on the 22 metre mark. Starts to come in. There goes the kick. And all oh, he has pushed that across the front of the post. So with that try, it is Electro Services Buller 14 and uh, Nelson Bays 8. 30 minutes of play, 10 minutes left here at Victoria Square and Westwood in this first half. As Pittman brings it back to the halfway. There goes the kick off. Gets it up high again. Who's waiting for it there? This time it's Monday who takes the ball. Just outside the 22 metre mark. Puts the ball on the ground. Stevens has got it. Gets it up there. Ball to the big prop uh, who has come on there for Buller. They have brought on Attila Var, the big fella. Uh, he's got it back nicely to Ali. Ali puts his boot to it up high on the ground there as he's challenged by Whiting. Racing forward there. Oh, Ali takes it himself there. Shrugs off the first tackle. Gives it up to Neighbours. Neighbours coming across field. Fires it across there to Leah Lavava. Has to take it and stop. Runs into the uh, second 5-8 Mika for Nelson Bays. Two metres inside Buller's territory. Ali gets it. Puts his boot along the ground now. Pushes it down. Racing back here. Uh, oh, and uh, the winger for Nelson Bays too. In fact, it was Pittman who came across. And it goes into touch there. And uh, Nelson Bays playing it quickly. Picked up by Trafin. Gives it across there to uh, Shui. But no, the referee says, will play, come back to the line out. And uh, gee, uh, Buller there. Just showing it. Ali looking up. Seeing that Nelson up very, very quickly. And has pushed it uh, midway 22 and halfway. Nelson Bays territory. And with Warwick Knox going off there, uh, Jerome Bay will no doubt go into hooker. And we have uh, Talava'a coming on. Nelson Bay's right out in front of us. Tyler Coons. Down towards the back it goes. And uh, taken uh, comfortably there by Sarugu. Nelson Bay's got it. They're tending to uh, put a bit of a shove on there. Three or four of the bullet players hanging off some of the bullet boards. They're going to have to get in there. Nelson Bay's are made three or four metres here. In fact, they're still going up to the 10 metre mark there. The bullet players all fractioned off there. Now they're in behind. McElroy trying to get in and disrupt them there. Buller finally held them up five metres inside. But it's a prop for uh, Tupalua trying to come away with the ball. Now Nelson going to the forwards. Uh, Coleman's got it. Lays it back there. <coughs> and uh, it's his uh, locking mates at Ruku. Two metres inside Buller's territory before Whiting goes in. 
He's come up, he's uh, given it up there to uh, Shway. He goes straight to ground with the ball. Over the top now, Nelson Bay is just slowing it down. They're going to go back to their forwards and uh, do the work. Now they're again they're trying to just work it away to the left, out into midfield, being held up in the back there by Saruku, the uh, lock forward for Nelson Bays. Trying to pull him down to ground up Buller. And uh, they finally have they got in there and disrupt. In fact, they may have gone over the top. McElroy almost got his hands on it. Now Whiting has to go and get it up to Pittman. A long pass out there to the uh, second 5'8 metre. And uh, he gets it out there to the centre, Eggers. Eggers held up 12 metres in the side of Buller's territory, right on the far side there. Seven or eight metres inside the uh, Green Sand Touch. Now we've got Whiting's got it. Gives it up to uh, Gavari, the uh, flanker for Nelson Bays. Buller trying to stop a uh, right on their uh, 10 metre mark there. Have they freed it? Yeah, Buller have actually turned this ball over. Steve is reaching in for it there. Puts his boot to it down the grandstand side. Racing through Jesse Alley. Oh, no, he couldn't quite take it near. Taken there by the fullback nicely, uh, Trathan. Tries to spin out of a couple of tackles. Five metres inside Nelson Bay's territory. Coming back. Oh, Buller again have turned the ball over, have they? Going forward with his bar. The big prop. Uh, oh, gets it up to Craig Moore. He gives it uh, there to Neighbours come across from the wing. Who does Neighbours give it to? Alley. No, it's taken out of his hands by Sakura. Uh, he goes uh, into the uh, tackle of Amika, pushes him out of the way, still going up towards uh, just outside the 22 in uh, Nelson Territory. Now up to Ali. Ali gives it up there again to Ratu, right on the 22 metre mark in the Nelson base territory. Needs some support there. Nelson runs very quickly, but uh, Buller, have they freed this up? Yes, they have. Vaya playing at halfback. Uh, Lavava gives it out across there to the big fella. Attila Vaya pushes off one, pushes off two, gives it up again on the far side. There's that Craig Moore. Buller need to get this under control. There's no one back here for them. Nelson Bay's managed to get a boot to it. Ali gets it. It uh, goes to uh, Sakakwa. Sakakwa coming up uh, to the midway 22 and halfway before he gets put on the ground. Stevens in there. This is a great period of play. Ali running on the short side there. Gives it up there to the neighbours, the right winger. Out to Logan Mundy playing out in the far wing there. He's inside the 22 metre mark. Stevens has got it again. Again, the big fella Vaz got it. Oh, he's going to need some support as Nelson Bay's run very, very quickly over the top. They'll win this one, Nelson Bay. Buller win. No, they've gone in. Have they Buller and one? Craig Moore's ripped it out of her hand there. He goes straight into one player, two players. He slides six metres short of the line and Neighbours goes into play at halfback. Uh, Nelson Bay's had to be offside there. The referee playing advantage there. What a great period of play. Logan Mundy plays at halfback. Up to Ali. The Barber puts a little stab kick through. It's coming into the. Oh, the referee blew the whistle. He didn't quite play enough advantage there as uh, Nathan of Alou almost had it picked up, but they'll come back for the penalty. And uh, gee, the Nelson Bay's defence was holding, but Buller were just throwing everything at it. <coughs> and the, uh, the big uh, prop. Uh, but, ah, he was on. He was involved three or four times. The players just with hands on knees at the moment. They were absolutely throwing everything into it. 35 minutes gone here in the first half. Electra Services pull a nine. They lead a Nelson, uh, rather 14. Uh, Electra Services pull. They lead Nelson Bay's eight. And uh, Andrew Stevens, uh, he's about on the same mark where he had the conversion attempt uh, about uh, seven minutes ago. So he'll have a chance to uh, push the score out just a little bit further. Well, gee, that was a great period of play there from the uh, Buller side there. The backs and boards are really involved there, trying to move that ball. Jesse Alley controlling things beautifully from 5'8". And uh, in the end, Buller with the uh, penalty. And Stevens, as I say, basically the same mark that he had the kick from about seven minutes ago. Right on the, just outside the 22 metre mark. Lining up the posts. Comes in now. There goes the kick. And, oh, again, he's pushed that one to the right. So, uh, Buller just missing a couple of uh, chances there. 36 minutes gone. That is Electric Services, Buller 14. Nelson Bay's 8. Buller just for those couple of uh, missed goal kicks, just making a wee bit of difference. As 5-8, Pittman kicks it deep. Taken back there by Neighbours on a 10 metre mark. Gives it up to Ratu. We're running across the field. Now he straightens up. Uh, one metre inside of Nelson Bay's territory. Stevens goes in to pick it up. Comes away to the left, is he? Yes, gets it up to the lava. And uh, he's got to try and straighten it up and come back. Uh, and he runs uh, straight uh, five metres inside Nelson Bay's territory. Still coming on the short side there. Oh, Buller there just mucking it up a little bit. As Craig Moore went to take the pass off. Nabanabalu just didn't come off and uh, just knocking it on. And so Nelson Bay's. They will have the scrum five metres inside their own territory and 10 metres in from our broadcast touch. 
Cade Whiting, the halfback for Nelson Bays. Jerome Byron to uh, hook up there for Buller. Attila Barr and Logan Mundy, the uh, two props now. Cade Whiting, the winger, Sali Kalika. He has crept into the back line there for Nelson Bays. The referee not happy though, as the flanker, uh, Tony Ngashwe, heading off to the sideline for Nelson Bays. And have they got a replacement coming on? Referee blows time on. Nelson Bay is playing on with the 14 men at the stage. Must be an injury rather than a blood bin. They need him back on. So they've set the scrum. Whiting puts it in. Held in the back by the number eight, Russ. They go away to the left, though. R2 Pittman. Pittman running across the row, hands it up. The, oh, in fact, they're crossing over there, Nelson Bays. And yes, the uh, referee's whistle goes. And Buller will have a penalty five metres inside Nelson Bays territory, right out in midfield. And Jesse Alley has said, yes, I'll have a crack at this one. So with 38 minutes gone, and Electric Services pull a 14, leaving Nelson Bays eight. Alley gets the kicking tee brought on. A, uh, a tee boy today, James Lash, who started the match last week, uh, ended up with a rib injury and uh, is doing the duties today. But Alley right out in midfield. Nelson Bay just crossing over there, the second 5'8, Joe Micah getting caught up there with the Flanker Gavardi. Alley, five metres inside Nelson Bay's territory. Kick of about 45 metres. Addresses the ball. Starts to move in. He's hit it, he's got under it, but uh, he's pushed it away to the right, though, taken by Ben Combe, a couple of metres short of the line, gives it up to the 5-8 uh, Pittman there, kicks it down, and is taken there by Var, just inside his own territory, just pushes it into touch, he must have thought it was half-time, never tried to do anything with the ball at time. Now, this could be dangerous for Buller because uh, the uh, tennis three quarter of the Varvar thought it was half-time, and uh, just walked uh, basically the ball across the touchline. As Nelson Bay throws in, oh, beautifully taken by Craig Moore, though. One against the throw, and Moore's got it. Uh, crashes into the Nelson Bay's uh, line out there. So a bull are really fortunate there. This time, Stephen's looking for it, and uh, he's got it this time, and he knows it's half time. And the referee does blow the whistle there for the uh, end of the uh, first half. And at the end of the first half, in this Seddon Shield Challenge here in Westport, uh, the Electric Our Services Buller, the holders, 14. Uh, they lead uh, Nelson Bays, 8. Uh, for Buller, uh, Ty Ratu, the number 8 to try. Andrew Stevens, 3 penalties. And for Nelson Bays, uh, a, a try uh, there. Uh, to the wing of three-quarter Fletcher Matthews after two and a half minutes. Uh, also a penalty to Jesse Pittman. At that stage, uh, Nelson Bays, they were doing all the early attacking. They uh, certainly uh, looked like they had the goods here on the Electric Services Buller side. Uh, they're up by eight points to nil. Buller couldn't get out of their own half. They couldn't get their hands on the ball. However, they slowly warmed to their tasks. And after a couple of three penalties uh, to Andrew Stevens, they finally scored a very good try to number eight Ty Ratu. Uh, who uh, scored it uh, after uh, Penne Nabin of Blue had uh, made the uh, tackle and ripped the ball away from the Nelson Bays number eight, uh, Dale Russ. And uh, Ratu finished off the try that was unconverted. But we're also missing a uh, two further penalties since then as well. However, they do go into this break here at Victoria Square in Westport, leading 14 points to eight. They've got another 40 minutes of hard rugby ahead of them if they uh, wish to uh, keep their hands on the shield for 2014 and not let the visitors take it back in the bus tonight. Uh, we'll be back uh, very, very shortly. Of course, this game this afternoon being brought to you by the Westport Motor Hotel. We thank them uh, for this commentary here on Coast FM. We'll be back with the second half very shortly. Don't appear to be any as such in the Buller side. We still have uh, the uh, Attila Bar on there for Warwick Knox as Claire McElroy takes the ball from the kickoff there. He runs up about 8 or 10 metres outside the 22 metre mark Buller territory. Stevens goes and reaches, gets it up there to Morgan Eames. And uh, the big lock board uh, runs straight into the uh, tackle there of a Nelson Bays. Uh, no, it's number eight, uh, Dale Russ. Comes behind to Ali. Ali puts his boot down. Our broadcast uh, touch here. 
and it is the uh, winger and try scorer Fletcher Matthews has got the ball over the 10 metre mark run straight into uh, Logan Mundy and also McElroy put down on the ground by Rafi the number 8 as well reaching in there now is a Whiting Whiting gets it up there to Pittman it's spreading it along the backs Coleman takes it but oh that runs into the tackle of McElroy there puts him straight to the ground Whiting comes down to the blind oh and it's taken there by Rafi intercepts it over the 10 metre mark bullet territory before he's taken to the ground Stephen's got it uh, fires it out there to Craig Moore Moore goes for a bit of a run and runs straight into the uh, lock forward uh, to Drew Group pushes him off up to the halfway mark they are now Stevens reaches in and gets it up to the Arvava playing at 5-8 there puts his boot way deep, deep into Nelson Bay's territory the ball rolling back towards the Nelson Bay's line there as uh, Suli Kalika put, kicks it, he kicks it uh, downfield but oh that's not going to go into touch Jesse Alley takes it over there on the uh, grandstand side runs uh, over the 10 metre mark before he gets taken to a uh, ground there in the tackle of the fullback Trayton and uh, Nelson Bay's there trying to disrupt Buller's ball Buller have it got it coming back McElroy plays it halfback gives it up to Moore at first 5-8 and uh, he runs straight and hard into uh, the 5-8 uh, Pittman there for Nelson Bay. Now Stevens gets back to it, gives it up to Alley. Oh, he's broken through Jesse Alley. Has he got ahead and got anyone unfortunately with him there? Flips it up there to uh, Luke Brownlee. Uh, Brownlee goes to ground. Oh, Nelson Bay's through very quickly. They had to be offside there. They're playing it at halfback there, Lala Lavava. Fires the pass along there to Logan Mundy. Picks it up. There's Mundy there. Traces over the 22 metre mark. Trying to free it up now. It's bullet, but no. Mundy had just knocked it forward. Well, gee, uh, how those Nelson Bay's players got round there so quickly, nobody will know. Right under the goalposts, and uh, they disrupted as Stevens went to pick the ball up. He got bowled clean out of the way, and Ali Howard, but Paul finally got passed out to Money, just at his toes there, just lost it forward, and uh, Nelson Bay certainly dodging a bullet there. Second half underway, 14 points to eight. Electric Services Buller, the referee whistles time off. And uh, we have a injury here. One of the Nelson Bay's players just requiring a little bit of treatment. But gee, Buller uh, again uh, really uh, making uh, inroads into the Nelson Bay's defence. Jesse Alley handling a couple of times there. Just got uh, tripped up and uh, the fullback trait and really uh, making a try saver there. Unfortunately, Alley had caught everybody uh, by surprise. He had no one off his shoulders. And by the time the uh, Buller Fords had got there, uh, Nelson Bays had got round. They disrupted the ball there to Stevens. And uh, by the time it got clicked along the ground to Logan Mundy, unfortunately the big uh, prop forward just nudging it forward. And uh, Nelson Bays now with this defensive scrum. That's the flank, uh, Tone Na Shui. Referee seeing what he's going to do. It's Na Shui who went off just before to get some treatment. <laughs> and Cade Whiting, referee's getting him back under control. He'll uh, signal time back on. And we have had at this stage only two, two minutes in the second half. Whiting with the ball. Scrum's going down. Just inside the 22 metre mark. 15 in from our broadcast touch. Put in. Buller put a bit of a shove on Nelson Bays. Russ takes off the back though. Nelson going backward. Whiting gets it right across the uh, far side there to Micah. Mike gets taken down in the tackle of Narvin of Only going across field at this stage, Nelson. Whiting waiting for the comeback. He's going, fires it behind him near to Pittman. And uh, as uh, Sakwakwa comes to him, he puts it downfield. But Ali takes it there. 10 metre mark full of territory. Fires it across field there to Ravuda, what's he going to do with the fullback? Oh, this puts a little pop kick over and uh, gets taken out, does he? Yes, the referee says he does. Nelson Bay's uh, trying to go forward, but he got taken out there and it will be a penalty there to Buller, the first penalty of the second half. And Ben Coman just asking what the problem was. The referee saying, no, it was a penalty. In fact, he's now taken the penalty from two metres inside, uh, 12 metres forward. So one of the Nelson Bay's players obviously uh, not agreeing with the referee and so we have gone forward and Stevens this time will say I'll have a kick at goal he's just to the left of the goal post and he would be 39 to 40 metres out well Ravudra there uh, didn't put it up I just tried to put a little pop kick over the top of the Nelson based uh, players coming up quickly and absolutely got taken out there and uh, referee no hesitation in awarding the penalty <laughs> However, we have we got somebody said something, and so it's gone 10 metres further up. Andrew Stevens. 
Only a couple of paces back from the ball. And just addressing the posts here. Dolly comes in now, now he hits it. And is that going to swing around? It certainly is. So Andrew Stevens, after four minutes of the second half, has kicked his fourth penalty of the afternoon. And the score now, Lick Reserves is full of 17, and Nelson Bays, eight. Bring it back to the halfway mark. Pittman. Uh, towards, oh, that's just a little half kick and uh, taken there by Luke Brownlee. Places the ball down, bullet forwards over very quickly. Nelson Bays nearly uh, got that one back quickly there. Stevens goes in right on the 10 metre mark, gives it up to Ali. And uh, as Ali has the uh, flank, uh, Gavardi come at him, puts his kick uh, down 10 metre mark, Nelson Bays territory. The fullback there, Trayton tries to run, he gets taken.